Hey, you clicked on this video, fantastic. This is Owen bringing you three theories of time travel you would have seen in films. Theory number one is the fixed timeline theory. In a fixed timeline, even when particles such as humans travel back in time, they can't change the future that they left. All events remain the same as fixed points in time. The actions of the traveller in the past have already become part of history. This is known as the Murakov self-consistency principle. For example, say you went back in time to kill Adolf Hitler as a baby. You then replace him with an orphaned baby so the family wouldn't notice. You then travel back to the future and that replacement baby has grown up to become Adolf Hitler. This theory of time travel has been used in the films Terminator, Harry Potter 3 and 12 Monkeys. Moving on to theory number two, the dynamic timeline theory. In a dynamic timeline, altered events in the past have a definite impact on the present. This seems to be a simple theory, however, it does have a catch. For example, if you go back in time and kill your grandfather, I don't know why, but this would prevent your own birth. And because you were never born, you never went back in time to kill your grandfather. In turn, your grandfather is never killed, so you are then born, and then you go back in time to kill your grandfather. This loop continues infinitely and creates a paradox. The only famous film this theory is seen in is Back to the Future. You know, the bit when he starts fading and losing his hand when he's playing the guitar. That's the paradox working in to itself. Finally, theory number three, the multiverse. Actually, can I get like a, an awesome echoing sound on the multiverse? The multiverse. The concept of a multiverse supports alternate timelines in an infinite amount of parallel universes. Travelling into the past causes a new divergent timeline from the first. Because of this, the traveller can do whatever the hell they want and only the new timeline will be affected. For example, if you go back in time and kill your grandparents, again, I don't know why, only the second timeline will change. Nothing would happen on the first original timeline. There is no paradox, you have just created an alternate timeline that you will not exist on. However, the one slight catch of this time travel theory is you can't actually return to your original timeline. Therefore, you'd be stuck on that alternate timeline. This theory of time travel is seen in Terminator 2 and 3, Misfits, and Star Trek, the 2009 version with Chris Pine. Well, there you go. Those were three time travel theories that you would have seen in films. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. My name's Owen. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. They're quite similar to this one. You may enjoy them. Thanks for watching this video. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.